Good evening and welcome to another video. Today is Wednesday the 25th of May 2016 and in tonight's video I'm going to look ahead and preview day number one of the World Series event which is going to take place in Dubai. It's a 2016 Dubai Duty Free Masters which is going to take place over two days on Thursday the 26th of May and Friday the 27th of May. Now the event will start at 8pm local time which is 4pm in the UK and we're going to see four quarter finals. There's four seeded players. The number one seed is Michael Van Gerwen. The number two seed is Gary Anderson. The number three seed is Phil Taylor. The number four seed is Adrian Lewis. And the four unseeded players are Peter Wright, uh, Ryan Van Barneveld, James Wade and Dave Chisnell and all matches will be of the best of 19 leg format. It's going to be delayed coverage on ITV4 as well starting at 9pm but if you want to catch it live you can do so via www.livepdc.tv It'll be live via there and the delayed coverage in ITV4. Now the first quarter final sees the number 4 seed Adrian Lewis take on Dave Chisnell. Now these two have met 21 times previously and Adrian Lewis has won 10 of those meetings. There's been one draw and Dave Chisnell has won 10 of the, those meetings as well. Now Adrian Lewis has played three times in this unique event which is played outdoors in a tennis stadium and in his three years he's lost the first round in 2013 to Ryan Van Barnow by 10 legs to 6. Then in 2014 and 2015 he lost in the semi-finals both to Michael Van Gerwen. In 2014 he lost 11-7 and in 2015 he lost 11-9. Now he takes Dave Chisnell and Dave Chisnell has only played in this event once. He's only ever played outdoor once. And that was in 2014 and he lost in the semi-finals to Peter Wright by 11 legs to 8. So what do I think is going to happen in this match? I think that Adrian will take that experience of having played outside more than Dave Chisler. But Dave Chisler has a decent record in this competition. But I think that Adrian Lewis has really built on momentum over the last 6 months. Whereas Dave has really tailed off in the last 6 months. Especially after that January he had. I thought it was going to kick on from then. But I think Adrian Lewis is going to win this match by 10 legs to 6 over Dave Chisnell. The second match of the evening sees Phil Taylor take on James Wade. As I said before, Phil Taylor is the third seed in this competition and James Wade is unseeded. Now these two have played 63 times before and Phil Taylor massively leads a head-to-head -head with 48 wins. There's been 5 draws and James Wade has won 10 occasions. Now Phil Taylor's played three times in this competition. He lost in 2013 in the quarterfinals to Andy Hamilton by 10 legs to 8. In 2014 he lost 10-5 in the quarterfinals again to Peter Wright but last year was his best performance to date when he reached the final. He was only beaten by Michael Van Gerwen by 11 legs to 8. So this competition hasn't been a happy hunting ground for Phil Taylor having first Two first round exits and one final appearance. He hasn't got his name on that trophy yet. Could this week be his weekend? Now, I think it's surprising that he's lost to Andy Hamilton because he had a really, really good record against Andy Hamilton and to lose to him on the TV in Dubai playing outside for the first time is a real shock. But now I think he's used to playing outside in outside conditions. Although there's not much difference because it's a very, very good conditions you've got in Dubai with very little wind. Now moving on to his opponent who's also played three times in this competition. It is James Wade. Now James Wade lost in the semi-finals in 2013 to Ryan Van Barneville by 11 legs to 5. He then lost in the quarterfinals, which is the first round in both 2014 and 2015. In 2014, he lost 10 9 to Michael Van Gerwen, and in 2015, he lost 10 8 to Gary Anderson. Now, what do I think is going to happen in this match? I think Bill will want to put a good show on and really show that last year wasn't a fluke him getting to the final after two years he failed. And James Wade will want to show he's a lot better player than he had had in the last two years and won a game in Dubai because he hasn't won in Dubai since he, the first year he played there and he won, he's only won one match here. So what do I think is going to happen? I think Phil Taylor's going to try and put his assertions on this match quite early on and I think he could run away with this match, winning this match by 
10 leg to 7 in the end. I think James will get back into this match, but I think it'll be too little, too late, and I think Bill Taylor will win this match by 10 legs to 7. The third match of the evening sees Gary Anderson, number 2 seed, take on Rian Van Barneveld. Now, these two have played 28 times previously, and Rian Van Barneveld surprisingly leads the head to head with 14 wins between two draws, and Gary Anderson has won 12 times. Surprisingly, Gary Anderson has only ever played in the Dubai Duty Free Masters once before, and that was last year when he lost in the semi finals 11 3 to Phil Taylor. So, there isn't much uh, information of Gary Anderson playing outside. He's only ever done it once before, not twice before. He's won one match and he's lost the other match quite convincingly to Bill Taylor. Ryan Van Barnaby, on the other hand, has much experience of playing outside in Dubai. He's played all three years. In 2013, he lost in the final to Michael Van Geren by 11 legs to 7. In 2014, he lost in the quarters to Adrian Lewis by 10 legs to 5. And he also lost in the quarters last year to Michael Van Geren by 10 legs to 8. So what do I think is going to happen in this match? I think that Gary Anderson will really show a good performance here. I think they want to show why he's the best player in Scotland. After that little dispute with Peter Ray, I think this could fire him up this weekend ahead of the World Cup of Darts. And I think Gary Anderson will win this match quite convincingly by 10 legs to 5 over Rayan Van Barneveld. The last match of the evening sees the number one seed Michael Van Germen take on Peter Wright. Now these two have played 43 times previously and Michael Van Germen has won 34 occasions, there's been one draw and Peter Wright has won in eight occasions. Michael Van Germen has played this competition three times and he's won all three times he's went to Dubai. That's a phenomenal record for Michael Van Germen. And I've said who he's beat earlier in this video, all the players he's played. And he takes on Peter Wright. Now he's only played in this two years and it was in 2014 he lost in the final to Michael Van Geren by 11 legs to 7 and last year he lost in the quarters which is the first round to Phil Taylor by 10 legs to 5. What do I think is going to happen in this match? I think this match will be very very edgy. I think that Peter Wright will have a little bit of a bee in his bonnet in this match and I think he wants to prove a point against Michael Van Geren. I think this could be a very very close match. And I think it's about time Peter Wright actually beats Michael Van Geren on TV. And I think he could do so tomorrow by 10 legs to 9. I think it's a very, very close match. The good match at the tail of last year. I think this could be one of those matches. We didn't really see the competition between these two in the Premier League. But I think that Peter Wright will bounce back in this match. Edging it as an unranked event. Which I don't want to say that Michael Van Geren won't take lightly. Because he has won this the three times it has been played, but I think we'll see a shock in this match. I think Peter Wright will finally end a hoodoo. He did so a couple of years ago, Peter Wright, when he beat Bill Taylor. And I think that was a real point for him. He could beat Bill Taylor. I think that's could be the point where he beats Michael Van Gerwen. I think he'll win this match by 10 legs to 9 over Michael Van Gerwen. So with that, that's the end of this video. Sorry I've not been uploading videos in recent times. I've had a couple of personal issues which I haven't had time to upload videos and they've been really on my mind which I can't concentrate on videos. I'm really sorry because I really should be putting daily content on this channel and hopefully I can get back to that daily content uploaded every day. So with that, that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're watching it via my YouTube channel, if you're watching my Daily Motion channel, you can leave a comment in the comment section below, as well as my YouTube channel. If you're watching this via the Tungsten Tickle website, you can leave a comment by their website, by their Facebook or their Twitter, or by my personal Twitter, which is at Dugan90. And until tomorrow, I will a preview of Day 2 of the 2016 Dubai Duty Free Masters. I will see you then. Goodbye.